Hello everybody, this is Daniel Hood at Haven of Code, and I want to show you guys how to access uh, your JavaScript from uh, ActionScript 3 and access uh, ActionScript 3 from JavaScript. Now, um, there's some security that goes into this. Uh, when Flash uh, made their uh, environment for running ActionScript 3 and the DOM, uh, they wanted to keep it s as secure as possible. So uh, we have to fiddle with the HTML file after we export our action script uh, flash file. So first we just need to make an action script 3 file. Um, we're going to be doing this in AS3. And OK, so uh, we're not going to be making anything on here. We're just going to we're just going to make some action script. Uh, so I'm just going to go to our timeline and uh, we're going to go right click on the first frame and then go to actions and then we have this uh, action script window and we could just trace you know like hello whatever and that's just going to print to the console um, okay uh, cool so then we're going to uh, import flash dot external dot external interface Okay, and that's just basically going to give us uh, access to our JavaScript through this little API uh, that Adobe gave us. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, make an alert window pop up inside the browser. So we're going to make a URL uh, request to do this. Um, so, well, we can make a URL request, but we can also use external interface to do this. Um, so we can just like have this command and say external interface dot uh, call, and we can give it a parameter which is the function name of the JavaScript you're calling, which is alert, and the parameters. And we're just going to say this is a parameter for the alert function. Okay, and then we're going to cap that. And what that is going to do when our action script application loads, it's first going to give an alert window that pops up and it's going to say this is a parameter for the alert function. Okay. Alrighty. And then we want to make a function that we can call from our JavaScript. So this is what we are going to do. We're going to make a function called alert me and we're gonna return a string okay so that's that's how you uh, so yeah let's uh, return a string I'm a string okay and what we want this function to do when we call it from JavaScript we wanted to just create an alert window in the browser so we're gonna use external interface again and we're going to call same function alert with a parameter um, with the parameter ow you just called me that hurt okay and <laughs> yeah so now what we have to do is we have to give JavaScript access to this function so after we declare this function, we're going to go ahead and give it access using the same API external interface. And that function, the method we are going to use inside that is add callback. And we just give it the function name that we want it to name it for JavaScript, and we give it the actual um, name of the function inside of our action script. So I'm just going to do this, and let's, uh, let's call this instead of alert me. Let's call it let's alert me. Alright. Cool. Alright, so let's review this code over again. Um, first, when this uh, pro program loads, it's going to call uh, the alert function inside JavaScript, inside of the browser, and then it's going to say this is a parameter for the alert function. Um, and then, inside of our JavaScript, what we want to do is call alert me. And 
I'll show you how to do that after we export the movie. But I want to explain uh, that you must have ac like some sort of Apache server running. Uh, the easiest way to do this is install XAMPP. Um, basically, what XAMPP is is it just installs a Apache server inside your on your computer quite easily. Uh, but what you want to be able to do once you have XAMPP installed is you want to uh, be able to go to HTTP and then say localhost. And you should see something like this. Uh, okay. Alright, so let's go ahead and export our Flash movie. So I'm going to save this somewhere uh, first. And where I installed XAMPP is where you want to put it. So when you go to localhost, it sends an HTTP request to somewhere on your computer. And where I put that is on uh, C, XAMPP, htdocs. And that's the, uh, that's the basic place uh, in uh, the default installation. That's, that's where it is. So I'm going to make another folder called Flash. And I'm going to save it test.fla. Okay, and now I'm going to go over and publish it. All right, so what publish did is it made this uh, HTML file for you that you can open. So let's go ahead and open that now from XAMPP htdocs inside your C drive. Flash. All right, so here's test.html. I'm going to go ahead and open it with Google Chrome. All right, we just opened it. And as you can see, there is no alert window that pops up. It's because we're not using an HTTP protocol. We're just using the file protocol that's in every single browser. So instead of using this URL, we're going to send an HTTP request to localhost, which is located in the htdocs, uh, and then inside the Flash folder, then test.html. So I'm going to go ahead and navigate to there, HTTP localhost slash flash slash test dot html I think that's what it's called uh, <laughs> test dot html and now we're going to do it see we see uh, the external interface dot call alert and we pass in the parameter this is a parameter for the alert function okay and now uh, I guess we want to make some javascript to make that function pop up so inside Google Chrome you can inspect the element and like right click over here then click on this console window and then we can like do some stuff here uh, so but we need to access we need like we need to access the flash movie uh, by assigning it to a variable like it needs an ID so we can assign it to a variable and then do stuff to it so I'm going to go ahead and open up Sublime Text. Um, Sublime Text. You can use any uh, any program you want to do this. You can even use Notepad. And then we're going to open up that file that we saved in our HT docs. Okay. Wish I was on my Linux. <laughs> Okay, inside Flash, and then we're going to open up test.html. Alright, so this is what Flash published for us. It gave us this whole thing. Uh, you don't really need to use all of this stuff, um, but most importantly, uh, we need allow script access, the param name, to the same domain in our Flash object. And you might as you, you put it down here too. Um, so, cool, now let's just make some JavaScript. on the bottom just uh, on top of body inside our body tag and let's just do console.log test just to make sure everything's working with JavaScript alright so I'm gonna refresh this HTML file with the browser okay and down here we can see it logged test cool Alrighty, and now 
I want to uh, do stuff with the movie. So I want to take that object um, and get the get the object that has the shockwave flash th type and give it an ID so we can access it. So I'm going to say ID equals my movie. Okay, and then in once we have that, we can go down to our JavaScript and say uh, var flash equals document dot get element by ID and assign it to my movie. Yeah, that's what I called it. Um, cool. Then we can log that inside Google Chrome. Console dot log flash the movie object. So we we got the HTML object element, and I wonder if it says uh, no. It when we log it, it doesn't it doesn't log the uh, actual function we gave access to in our action script called let's alert me. Now let's just go ahead and call it and just hope it works. <laughs> so cool. I'm gonna say flash dot let's alert me and now it's going to give us two alerts okay I wonder which one's going to come first I'm not sure so I'm going to load it. it says this is a parameter for the alert function and we got an error right here uh, has no method let's alert me okay I wonder why it didn't work. Hmm, maybe we need to set it to uh, allow script script access always. Hmm, let's try this. I don't see why it wouldn't work. It is the same domain. Okay. Did I spell it wrong? Did I spell it wrong in here? Let's alert me. Okay. So, hmm. Uh, flash, or my movie. I think I have an idea. I think it needs to load first. Um, yes, uh, so that's what's going on. Um, so basically, uh, it's not loaded yet. <laughs> so here, let's do some more stuff to our HTML file for a better example. Uh, under our movie, we are going to uh, make a link. Uh, so we're just going to say a href equals a broken link. And the name is we should call it click me. Okay. So then we need to give this an action. So let's give this an ID. Uh, it's a clicky. Let's call it that. <coughs> so Alright, this is only going to work in Google Chrome and Mozilla Firefox. This won't work in Internet Explorer because we're not using jQuery. So I'm going to say uh, document, let's uh, put this click me above it because I'm going to introduce bad stuff you shouldn't be using unless I do that. Uh, so I'm going to say document. So it's bar link equals document. Okay, element. Yeah. Where is he? And uh, we called it clicky. So link dot add event listener. Click, I think. And I'm just gonna pass an anonymous function. I hope this works. I haven't used raw JavaScript in a while, especially with events. Um, 
Did you know the new Internet Explorer is going to be using add event listener instead of attach event? Isn't that awesome? I think it is. So, okay. And then I'm going to say uh, <laughs> uh, document get element by ID my movie dot let's alert me. All right, let's see if I get any errors. Okay, and then let's scroll down. Hey, why isn't it showing, man? What you doing? Let's put this above everything then. That would be funny if Adobe's HTML wasn't good. <laughs> I'd laugh. Okay, so we have Click Me up there. So if we click on Click Me, it should work now. Yeah, it says, Ow, you just called me. That hurt. Uh, so basically, the reason why it didn't work the first time is because uh, we didn't give the HTML uh, document uh, enough time to load everything. Uh, but we can add an event like document dot on load equals this function, and that would work too. So that's the basics um, of accessing JavaScript in between uh, accessing JavaScript from ActionScript 3 and action accessing ActionScript 3 from JavaScript. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Um, peace off.